in this episode of Assyria, well, yeah, as you can see, we have expanded greatly as we've gone through Persia, and we recently took uh, Makran, which is something that Talia had promised um, before her passing. Uh, so now we're basically knocking on the door to the Indus Valley, but we cannot expand into that area because of this threat level. It's up at 90% and it'll take 343 months, which I did the math recently on how many months is that in the year? In a year? How many years? It's, it's 26 some odd years, I think. It's, it's around in the mid-20s. So it'll take 20 plus years for that threat level to go down to zero as long as um, none of my vassals expand anywhere else. Or me doing something a bit risky. To expand further. So right now we're just basically on a deadlock. Um, with further eastern expansions. In which my attention. At least this is a future. Again. We don't know if, I re if I'm really going to be committed to that sort of thing. Depending on what our first war against the Jains would look like. Just to see if, if it's practical or not. But if I had my way, like what would Assyrian India look like? I mean, I do not want to control the entire subcontinent. I want to take uh, the Indus part, uh, move up, and then follow down the Ganges all the way into Bengal and, and uh, end it right there. That, uh, one would think, is a future ambition. But it's kind of too bad I do not have an Alexander the Great bloodline of sorts like I did with Ragusa where you could just, every once in a lifetime, you can hit that invasion cost of spell right there. Which, no doubt, it'll make the threat level go the heck up. But what else could you do? I'm the one that scored a big game. But right now, um, we will send our retinue to this area. Yeah, there's a cavalry portion. Actually, put me on there. Najid. Die. It's just to make cavalry go fast because I will intervene on some foreign wars. This is what I'm going to have to do now. If I want to improve my skills and my martial skills and everything else in between. Intervene in foreign wars. Sogdians, Nestorians of Europe. I don't think we have contact with them, do we? Yes, we do. And also, maybe, just maybe, sent out a naval expedition to go all the way to the Arctic Sea for something. Or at least try to stop short into the Gulf of Finland alternatively and just march to there, especially if they're going to be up against those those guys in particular. But right now they're doing alright. Nanetsia gets into trouble. We will support him. <laughs> it's maybe a very odd thing, but it will happen. Trust me. It will. And since the Sogdians are now in a holy war against uh, the Zoroastrians, as they take more of that means, we will have our borders linked with Sogdiana for the first time. And thus finally end the whole supply limit due to, you know, between the two areas that separates us. Soon, we're going to be joined up together. And we're all going to be together, and if it allows, we could either keep the alliance, or alternatively, make them a tributary state to Syria. Knowing that we've been good to them for so long, and I thought we would love to have some sphere of influence in them. Hmm. 
in these few times of calm and peace, one let's think about the cells. Meditations or prayers are essential for any practitioner storage. I highly recommend you use the time the most efficiently possible. Focus on theology. I ain't got time for that, sorry. Remember, the whole world is against me if I try to declare war against anybody. Let's go. Now they forbid women in the order. I guess that means it's finished. The Watchtower Network. A glorious cathedral of Jerusalem. It's not like somebody else was building wonders without my permission. guys because you know skills that we're just gonna need these days Drink the fountain of youth. Now I'm 16 years old again. <laughs> Whew. That's huge. Yeah, you're just gonna be hearing that notification now because of the defense effect against me. Which will take 20 some odd years to get it down to zero. That's only if, if I keep changing my laws and just, to, you know, tell these vassals to, hey, stop expanding, that sort of thing. Or try to give them independence. Which, of course, I'm most likely won't happen. Ah, finally someone to train me. Hold on. Father died of poor health. There goes the court chaplain too. Gee, we do have all the resources in our domain. So, no, I need another area of expertise, like something, I don't know, terrain related. Or something else. So, you did expand. Yes, you did. And in that area, at least. Okay, I pick up either temperate or diligent. Diligent. Excellent.
need more training. Look, it's good to be training for for virtues, but I want, you know, to improve my combat skill. I've grown tired of young men who try to seduce me. I don't feel lustful anymore. All I hope the Order is happy right now that I'm no longer lustful. I'm in no rush to get married. I'm actually going to stay single for about, oh, I don't know, 10 years or something. Why, the rest of this area is all the Syrian. for future interventions. Commander of Nizek. He lives over there. Yeah, that just gave me an idea. As far as retinue is concerned. From now on, it's the cavalry that will be taken on four interventions. The heavy infantry stays whenever the Sogdians need help with anything. Noble by the name of Wang Fu uh, Wen Guan <coughs> came to court today seeking asylum. Claims to spread from China after the rest of his was executed on orders of the Emperor. Oh, great Empress, your merciful nature is on across the land. I implore you to grant me refuge as it would be an untold kindness. Uh, He don't know better. What's going on up there? Rivalry war. Oh boy, what did you do to make him mad? Were you antagonizing? Or was he antagonizing you? Can't help you out with that. Because it's not a religious war. That's a rivalry war, that's a personal matter. Now why would they want to rebel against him? He's a good man. Soon after writing to the Chinese Emperor, a gr very grateful emissary arrived with several guards to escort Hong Fu Wing Guan back to the Chinese Emperor. You can't understand what they'll do to me, screamed Wing Guan uh, as he was dragged down. Sure, it can't be that bad. Got the grace. Why have I thought that? Honestly, he hasn't done much for me, but he likes Arabic cultures, but unfortunately he's ill because he has cancer. Dang it. Give me a look. I got it. Oh, by the way, what do you value in Unix? What do you like about Unix other than Arabic cultures? What do you like? Strategist, owner, excellent education. Aha. Uh -huh. I get it. I know what you want. I'll get you what you want. Find me uh, a Levantine who knows a lot of things. Thought he had an excellent education. Give it here. Might send you off as a eunuch. I'm done. 
What's his name? Got someone for you. It's a good education, but he likes it when it's so. When a guy's brought in, there's a scholar and a gentleman. There you go. Off you go. Hmm. And we can send half of that money to you. Just for further grace. And Lord knows what I would need in the future. Well, I'm already playing. I mean, I can at least try. So it's military education, martial education, training, training. Oh, better to serve God. Now I'm a novice fighter. Give me more. Glad people are in that order these days. Now we are bordered with Sogdiana. It's too bad they take an area that is where the Nestorian Holy Site is, but honestly I'm not that concerned because of a moral authority is so dang high. From now on you'll be heading off to the coast. You'll be stationed there until there's a foreign intervention for whatever reason. Claim on Mali. Oh no, that could mean, you know, we'll be united. Yeah, have all these revolts and stuff going on. And yes, they did win a great conquest, a great victory at that. But it seems that there's going to be on hold. Whatever's going on over there. I'm just shaking my head about man the storynism in the Arctic part of Russia today. I'm just looking for places like, is there anywhere we can help you? Norwegian Astoria. As I said, I'm just waiting for, I don't know, when they get themselves into a holy war, we will be there for them. Religiously liberate Bohemia. Catholic part. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a down period on things. So they'll be stationed there until photo notice. While I continue on training for the order, as well as whatever missions that they'll give me. Look, he's an old man. Leave him alone, will ya? Alright, those apply to Eastern? Yeah, all of India. That's what I was worried about. Well, can't back out of this now, so I would say 
flat terrain expert. And I can uh, compose a book now, since I have the knowledge. Marshall themed book. Uprisings everywhere. Heresies on the roll. Stand. Oh, so that was you that took it. Well, to better stand will be yours. As I said, nothing I can do now. Unless vassals wish to expand in areas like the Indus, but they're going to be at risk because any time they face the Jains, they will face them in great numbers than one can imagine. Especially further backed up that they have a holy order of their own. And don't forget, the Sogdians, whenever they're out of religious war, they got a holy order of their own, a Buddhist holy order, the chosen of Ashoka. Which is what I would say is. Ah, they'll be all right. But soon they'll almost have no holy wars left to fight. He's not a member. This kind of makes me wonder, hey, is there anybody who's a member of the... of that holy order that I just mentioned? The Chosen of Ashoka. Just wondering. Maybe one of these guys. One's a member of their monastic order. They even have a court guru there. Again, I'm just looking at least one. Trade League member. Ah, you can look it up at the character finder. Just pick somebody who's Buddhist and just scroll down till you see at least one. Or whoever is there. Grand Master. What's this done again? Again, you're gonna be up against them. Which they are a tributary state of sin, which in turn is a... Yeah, they joined up. All those people, you could somehow... Dingha. Or is it Dingha? They got their problems sorted out. Oh, hey, we got something. An Anatolian holy war. And Mali is with them. Although they got their own little things going on. I was about to say, hey, here's a war we can intervene. 
you know, our former enemies, the Anatolians, in which back then Anatolia was our old rival, which was strictly territorial, not religious. But for the first time, we're actually going to be on their side. Yes, they have a good number of troops, but I fear they won't be enough to take on against the African pagans as uh, they're going for this area. That's what they're at war for, for that part. Nada, you'll get what yours. So now. Again, we can't vassalize them, but we can uh, join them on that holy war against the Sultan of Africa and Sardinia and Corsica, which their capital has now isolated themselves. You know, the home of the royal palace, which is the second stage is still in construction. That reminds me, the Sogdian. There it is, the Grand Temple of Sarmacan. On the steppe of Sarmacan. The Great Temple has for months been a place of comfort for all Buddhist followers. Just completed two years ago. Oh, good lord, you bankrupted yourselves. Tell you what, we're gonna give you all this money, and maybe you'll build some features for that, um, Great temple of yours, which will go to show that you Sogdians are the defenders of the Buddhist faith. Yes, you are the defenders of the Buddhist faith. <laughs> you defended against Zoroastrians and pagans and others. And we can actually, in the future, work together to take on whatever India will throw at us in the future. But right now, we'll be looking west, as we will be fighting in this area. That's going to be the conflict zone, Sicily. Yes. We'll be there for them. Alright, let's help out what used to be our former enemy. Now, we're brothers. Brothers of the same thing. The story. Though the moral authority went down a bit. That's due to mostly losing holy wars. And there was one heretic rebel victory out somewhere. But somebody didn't take care of that. Not to mention temples being looted a lot. Particularly by those German Ajax up the. Hold on. Sweden's gone Nestorian. But it's not to be guaranteed. Because of. Um, they're still elective gavel kind. I was about to say, she's Nestorian too, and yet they still have uh, African war paint of sorts. Is it because are they members? No, they're not members of any society, nor... Maybe it's just something that's just carried on with them. <laughs> Much like those people. Man, how the African faith spread it to Scandinavia is beyond me. But, um, nonetheless, we're gonna help out Anatolia again. We're only helping those of the same faith that are dealing with holy wars against them, um, against our enemies. So we're just going to raise these ships and 13,000 of Syrian uh, rules for my troops. Who else on the direct vessels? Ah, oh, yes, uh, Lord Mayor with his ships and his troops. I saw ships too, and, yeah. and we'll even bring up um, the uh, Egyptian armies this way too. Actually, get in there. Oh. 
try to get together everyone now. Yeah, that's who I'm sending to this um, foreign war in uh, Sicily. Just only the Syria, Jerusalemite troops and the Egyptians. That's who we're sending. The rest can stay home. Don't want to further escalate things. I hope not. <laughs> I mean, if it does, if the war gets ugly out of it, then we'll commit more. Including severing, sending our cavalry retinue, which honestly, I don't know why I put myself there, despite the fact I'm specialized in heavy infantry rather than cavalry. But then again, those guys are all the heck way over there. And it's kind of too late now to be transferring. Transferring from one place to another. So just bring out the vest. And God willing, we will prevail against um, those African figures. The Holy War. Yeah. yeah, they're going after them now. That's for this area here. Of course, just keep on expanding until. I feel that it would be high time for me to, you know, tell them to, you know, stop fighting these wars so I can get the threat level to go down. Or maybe give somebody independence. They're already in the front line over there. So that's how much we're sending. We're sending 30,000, which is enough for all of us. We're on board, everybody, and uh, landed uh, Sicily. Oh no, I think they'll be with that. Master of Strategy. I'd say, where are these ships going? Oh yeah, same way as the way here. And the Anatolian troops are already at their capital. Well, we'll continue to do more of the work um, in the island itself. Not to mention it is the home of a merchant republic. They can get all the money. That guy is 80 years old. If he goes over 80, all of his hair will be gone. We'll, we'll do the beach. And this one's gonna go over there. So yes, that means we're, we're doing it then. Previous this whole thing. Risky. The Kingdom of Egypt is no longer considered the dead or part of the Arabian Empire. been fond of amphibious assaults but this one worked just wondering what are you guys doing up there still having a rivalry war yeah and you're about to lose it and you good sir are going to jail and this guy will most likely be the next king up there 
And if you get in trouble like a holy war of sorts, we will support you. I don't care how we get there, we will be there for you. No Nestorian people left behind. Oh, these guys brought up some more troops. Let's go up there and meet them. I thought they what? What are you from? Oh, yeah, Egyptian army. Yeah, it's us and the Egyptians that take on those guys. Sure, it doesn't contribute to the war score, but I just wanted to, you know, get up on the, uh, and there's Anatolian troops. Oh, let them get out of the way, because there isn't enough room for all of us. He was a member of our order, but apparently his wicked lifestyle and his excommunication is what led him to be burned at the stake. Thought that bishop was a good man, but not every Christian can be a true Christian, but I can understand. Get away from me! The infidels never sleep, and neither shall we. Wait a minute in the battle against the infidels. That's what I'm here for. Where's the rest of them? Guess they're probably in the mainland. No, they're up there. Tap, tap. So it makes me a strong leader. And yet they call her the nun, despite her membership with a great trade they get. Not so much she's a master trader. Awesome. Did they change? She's still in the story, and it's just. Oh, good lord, Persia, what are you doing? Uh, oh, wait, uh, that's against them, but it's the tributary state that just joined. On that war, that was the one, it's like, has anybody actually declared a holy war against them? Which would give us the first entrance into the Indian subcontinent? Because lord knows, if you start a holy war, everybody's gonna be this way. You could say, yeah, for once, India had a world to itself. But since we are coming um, far in the future, then Bruce's uh, result highly suspicious. No hair lip. Yeah. Burn. Yeah, well, whenever we go to India, <laughs> their entire nation's going to unite, and they're going to be against us. But mind you, Jayans cannot declare holy wars, but they can sure as heck defend themselves of everything they got. Especially that they have their own holy order now with God knows how many members. Ketina the Bold, because of her bravery. The brave and the bold. We 
even though she is still, you know, she'll eventually be a train car. She's still a novice at it, as far as combat skills concerned. What about to say? Should I promote? Because when I promote, I can hire a holy commander and go on a warrior pilgrimage. Yeah, sure. Because of my early contributions in intervening in holy wars and such, I mean, I would definitely accept that from us. Definitely take it. Alright, let's go home. Now I'm the Dane. Alright. But remember, as a member of the Holy Order, this is a team effort, so now I'm a skilled tactician. And yes, we did fight that battle as we were on our way back. Now that skills improved. Still working on it. A Cotanian. In a story, right? I think we shall support you. We'll be there for you. Just when we we're about to go home. Well then, <laughs> I guess we're gonna go on another. Go the long way round, or okay. who is that? Don't go down. Go this way. Oh dear lord. Oh, this may sound like a stupid idea, but we're gonna do this again. Alright. The cavalry up there. And then, uh... Then they can come too. Matter of fact, we're going to be sending our second best. And the others, we can land there. And there's room. There's enough room. Cavalry first boats, or at least force those on the ground. The army's here. Campaign's been easy pickings. Swinging my sword with the flames of pleasure, and my fellow soldiers equally jovial, surrounded by the blood of our Visigothic enemies and the cries of our. Look, enemy commander Wolfredo is, is hiding. The king himself. I mean, I recognize that armor. That's Visigoth, the Iberian armor, but he's wearing a mask. He's wearing the red face of Adamar. The Tomek war mask carried from, carved from simple wood and imbued with the essence of Rapon restless spirit. It was created a long time ago in 77, in 777. By an elder named Adama. And he also has the Sword of Heaven and a Visigothic Armor of the Cross. So these are, it's an ancient mask and an equally ancient sword. And this mask dates all the way back to, unto this woman of its only origin. It was a master seductress. And yes, she killed a woman once. So that mask that he's wearing right now has been passed on for generations and now he holds it. But however, he's craving and a drunkard. I could take him on. I was holding my dark bringer in front of me, locking eyes with the king, 
and the crowd began to whisper. Um, as my opponent flared awkwardly with his weapon, his face growing paler, I thought he was about to faint when the man started running away from me. Well, that was easy. He just turned tail and ran. Ah, this is Craven. I don't know why he has to hide his attractive face, but no, he, he ran. Tucked his tail between his legs. Yeah, you'll be transferred to a different front. So head straight to the capital. We'll remain here. I hope he would have just surrendered and I would take a prisoner and then, um... Uh, I wouldn't say we just end the war right there. No. What I would have done is just, uh... I don't know, castrate or blind him. Most likely blind. What about this supply then? Patricia from out of supply. Oh, it's a civil war. 7,000 years versus 6,000. Almost equal numbers. Even Samarkand has. Okay. We'll be committed to this. We're sending our heavy infantry retinue there. And the, um, and a near 10,000 Babylonian troops. They got, they got that to catch up. Kind-hearted scholar. Very well. Oh yeah, the trope for that long ago. Off you go. Even though it's a matrilineal marriage. It's a holy war for Barcelona. We'll support them while the 10,000 strong take the long way around and siege there while the rest will take the capital. Meanwhile, on the other hand, rebel troops over there. Sarmacandian army. I was wondering how you say the nationality of those who live from there. Not to mention the home of the Grand Temple of Sarmacand, which too bad he did not have the time to, you know, start building features. Something that'll make the, you know, yeah, fine. Uh, something to, you know, Make the Buddhist worshippers go wow. Just one minute, where are you from again? Oh, yes, he says the Syrian army were. How did I get Athens? Oh, you're a count of Beersheba, therefore. So apparently, we own Athens. Well, it's only a matter of time before that split off from me because of the distance. That I have cannot do anything about that. Assault them. Even though they're not the actual defenders are supposed to buy but
Those are the rebels. Get down there. What are you doing? Stores at 100% for the Western Front. This time we can all go home. At least they haven't got themselves in big trouble yet. You have won a holy war and you didn't tell me anything about it. Also, what happened with that rivalry war? It did not appear you were harmed from your time in prison. Doesn't say anything about the. Oh no, the Kagan won the, the uh, rivalry war. So I guess, I guess he was in prison for a time. Just didn't last long. He didn't publicly humiliate him or torture him or anything like that. them from harming the Sogdians. For now on, besiege here. Although there's a good chance that winter may come, so we may want to Split forces. All the board. Man, I gotta really do something about that money. <laughs> So much of that. What are, what's up with these with these wars that you've been dealing with? Oh, Saint Anthony, right? Better you yeah. got rid of those holy orders out of our realm, at least. All well, Arabia is, you know, ready to expand again. Finally, someone to train me. We got him. The assassins scattered. In order to fall their last fortress, the uh, assassin, the notorious assassin orders, been scattered to the winds. A few were maybe members of the Order have gone into hiding, finding their time in the vein, hope they will one day be able to resume their work. Their demise was inevitable. Guided battle. There's their new headmaster, but he is without any territory that he holds.
Now I'm zealous. <sighs> Appropriate. Oh, I should have done that. I just realized something. Whoops! But then again, they're, they're winning mostly. Should be alright. I mean, after all, we're only taking bits of territory. Uh, get these up again. Sorry we took half of your troops away. What? Oh. And also, after this, transfer heavy infantry to the west, cavalry to the east. Yeah, that was my mistake. Word of an epidemic. We received news of a horrible epidemic of Euboia, part of Greece. At first, the rumors were thought to be exaggerated, but ever since the disorderly arrival of inconsolable refugees at our gates, it has been difficult to ignore what's happening. They tell of various symptoms and uh, couriers on the aerial port of St. Large um, Bobos, people vomiting blood before dying, while others of extremities turn black, rotting off their bodies. Terrorists spreading as rapidly as the disease. So far, there's been no mention of a cure. Only mass graves. Is this the will of God? Oh, don't tell me. The Black Death is back. And by golly, it started there. Right next to Athens, where we control that territory. Also, what am I doing? Send them over there right now. Get away from there! The plague approaches. Mobs of new people are arriving in Athenai. Most of the newly arrived are commoners fleeing from the plague as they reach on Ilboia, just beyond our borders of our realm. Some have lost their old family, some are trying to protect theirs, and a few travelers are merchants that had easier time moving. All of them seem to have witnessed the indescribable horrors. Hardly anything will talk about it at all. Ones that do talk warn others of the coming plague and urge them to stay inside or pack their things and leave. Let the plague come, but unfortunately Thrace, Anatolia, maybe Bulgaria, and probably in our east coast, will feel the plague. Feel the plague. Get the plague! Separate summer county in revolt. Alright, I gained a virtue. I'm now temperate. Oh, you're in search for an instructor. You're a bit old and celibate. Little Monsieur Dinosaur. Bulgarian. Only one shot. Yeah, very well. That'll just improve my rep. Well, about to say. You're already a virtuous man, so I'll teach you about warfare and combat. Just to train alone. Now, here's another thing. Oh, I can't do that because I'm in the middle of a mission here. And I'm contemplating on going on a war to the afterwards. Enemy commander killed. Lord Mayor Musa did it. Although he was a member of that same dynasty that rules the country. But that's just the price of civil war. Even though, yes, we're killing infidels in the Buddhists, but we're doing that as a... For 
you know, that's just to do with, um, Immerse yourself with the group. Let's retake that territory. Black Death is spreading through parts of Greece now. I highly doubt it'll come here. Alright, that didn't last long. I guess you gained the stubborn trait. I believe that wasn't there last time. So now I need training. And if you happen to take that, you know, mission, then I would just be, oh, just a bit surprised. Pay attention to the vessel on her and stuff. I was about to say, what's going? Oh, barony. do with that new title. If only they put more... I was about to say, is there any vassals that live in that area? Because I would give it to you and uh, you govern that area. And whenever the Kingdom of Africa is created, then give it to you. Yeah, let's do this now. Maybe the Queen of Arabia will comply. I'm just lowering it. Or may never know if an event at the Great Library. <clears throat> Things are going well when I suddenly hear an embarrassed hover nearby. Spinning my sword ready, I see the enemy commander Mayor Takesh. Um, Awkwardly attempted to climb a dried up tree trunk. I think it's trying to escape the valley. This will be easy. I was chasing uh, Tekesh to the step when Majid shot me a side bargain. I'll take this one, my lady. Clumsily swinging his, uh, his maul. What is a maul? But by golly, he got him, even though he's infirm. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, you just can't keep that old man down. He's the one that raised me. He was the regent. Well, he was regent, but he didn't raise me. That was the my Zoroastrian father that raised me. Pretty soon. So, so yeah, we're occupying the right areas. Oh, what is one? Oh. Finally, we be going home. How are the Persians doing? A leper? Oh, Lord. Hope she isn't born with lepers. No, she's not. Against Bulgaria? 
did your war for Chersa. Did your. And you're the one that started it, right? Uh, good luck with that. End of the Babylonian Academy. The Jewish Academy. A combination of an intolerant ruler and disagreements between the Talmudic scholars have brought the academy low. It, can, it no longer holds the authority it once did, and the wise men no longer congregate beneath, the, beneath its roof. How the mighty have fallen! Man, I have forgotten about the Babylonian Academy because that was a Jewish academy that is located in, in Baghdad. <laughs> and I didn't know it lasted this long. And I forgot it had existed. But apparently, disagreements, they brought it down. Hey, what you doing? Oh, different issue. Having returned from the battlefield, I still don't feel at home. My body is here, but my mind is still in Barcelona. Sometimes I wonder if I die there and this is all a nightmare. Sometimes I cannot breathe. Oh boy. Hey, here's an idea. You know what? I will take a vow of celibacy, knowing that Ketina is a, is a holy warrior and lives in a my life, so I will take up celibacy. And my brother can get married to whoever that is of worth. looking it's too bad I can't send up to the academy because not a child of mine or just some marry some soggy and, and um, continue on with that you know permanent alliance matter you got any dogs oh plenty but I oh they're all aged they all aged well. Oh, yeah. Keep that well in mind. Or I'm just going to be one of those people that's like, hey, you got any good? It's all good. Well, I... Or even the lesser ones. Like given done. Gee, I don't know you expanded that far. one maybe I don't know we'll figure it out in the next episode um as I said I'm taking a bottle of celibacy and this much really. oh that's dangerous yeah, matter of fact, yeah you better forget about who's who just great married to somebody I'll be filmed someday We do have contact with the Nen. Yes, you, yeah, you know, you do have contact with the Nenets. I saw attractive, but I saw air lip. I'm like, oh, nope. Not good. Bingo. 
she'll do. Even though it's totally different out of the ordinary. Because it's not, you know, Sogdian. She's, um, Arminian. Arminian genius. Or alternatively, you could have uh, married somebody, you know, of a Georgian origin. Would have been a nice little term. Or even perhaps Anatolia. Even though I have no desire to have, um, you know, like marriage and then have children, that means part of the Syrian Empire. No, I don't want Europe. And how we got Athens is it's whatever. Because I'm mainly focused on the Indian subcontinent in the future. that's going to continue on with that. They're the ones that continue that family line, not I. Our cavalry stays there. Uh, we'll be transferred into here. And stay away from the diseases. Speaking of diseases, I guess this is about as far as the Black Death can spread. Just almost all of Greece, a bit of Anatolia, and a bit of um, Sicily. Yeah. If you can even call it that. Oh, you managed to get that area. Whoa. Don't even try taking on them, because that would be suicide. Oh, I saw the observe and I just... Too late. Hear that? Oh, taking another big chunk out of that. Yep, we scored a big one there. Expand no further there. Gee, you're a powerful bass for yourself. No, that spear is done. Or you got too much in your domain. Just for that, I'm giving you these. Until you distribute. Oh boy. Yeah, that's what we're spending our money on. Matter of fact, this is the best we could do. Almost like clearly our technology did not spread into these counties. But we can definitely up on the hospital, so it'll guarantee that diseases like the Black Death cannot come over here. Keyword guaranteed. Oof, that's the money well we're spent. And that uh, just makes me wonder whenever he passes, and it's going to be soon. Oh, hey, I trained you, and I jokingly said I thought he was going to train me, but no. Uh, I guess it's not kidding. Well, is it possible I can still... Yeah, I can still marry somebody, even if I'm celibate. 
Like if I need someone in my life that I could depend on for whatever use, huh. but that's only somebody who's unmarried to the court. Student, I didn't. We didn't just. We barely got here, and <sighs> strange. I'm no longer temperate. I'm oh, speaking of Alexandria. Where are we now? I mean, I'm strongly considering to, you know, stop on the, uh, the expansions. Strongly considering. Still got what kind. Elk. All I want from you. Switch the gavel kind, please. And that includes that duchy. Even though that's at the behest. It's already gavel kind, but that's at the behest of Metal Iron King. Black Death isn't going to spread any further. It's about as much as it's going to get. So it's basically the Greek Plague. What are you guys doing up there? Holy War for Carlea. Hmm. And there isn't that much of you up there left. I'll just get number of troops. You know you're winning, but you're up against. These two cognates. Oh, um, oh boy, am I really considering sending troops up there to to Nanetsia to go on the other side of the world for Karalea for in this county? Or alternatively, just sail through the Baltic Sea, drop off there, and boom. We're already there, so don't go all the way up to the North Atlantic. We can go as far as that. Right? Wait, we might do just that. We'll try, all right? We'll try to get there. If we can. And we may commit some more troops. Um, like at the Syria Jerusalem my troops. Troops army. Syria Jerusalem army. Oh. If there's enough room for all of us. We're only going to be sending this many and that's that. No more than that because of the obvious hostile climate. And just remember, one day we'll make um, Sogdiana a tributary state.
barely at the western Mediterranean. Zalde, mystic, a surgeon poet. Oh boy. Pastor Gibraltar. I've inherited data on the Persia. Oh, no, no, no. You get data. Despite the fact that you don't technically hold all of them, but. Training is over. Now I'm a trained fighter. And after this holy war, um, that oh, she did not comply. Not gonna arrest her for that, little old brat. But so, yes, Sweden is an historian, but they haven't cleared out all the Africans yet. But yet they still wear the war paint. join now. Received a worrying report of a certain woman close to my land, Theodosia. She's a dangerous cult member and must be dealt with in the most short delay. Theodosia the unfaithful. Oh my goodness. Oh, she's from Beersheba. But, um, uh, we know she's a heretic, but oh my goodness, most of her dual experience is just, how many men did she kill? Two. She even killed the king of Thrace, the despot of Thrace. Is she a member of a, aha, uh -huh, so that's where her fighting skills come from. She's a member of the round table. And for her being in that part of the heresy, yeah. Oh boy. And I just barely became a trained fighter. Remember, hunting a dangerous cult member just basically means it's fight to the death. But I will let. Matter of fact, this is going to be the last moment of the episode, and the next episode, that'll be the intervention in the in the Netsia and Carlea areas. I'm taking a vow of celibacy and made great strides to expand in the Makra. I have little dual experience, where she has many. Denka, you... Today's your birthday, and one would think your birthday gift is the Empire. Well, this is the last act I'll do for this episode, and this may or may not cost me my life. But remember, she's brave, she's no coward. She got that from, matter of fact, is she the champion? No, she's a pretender, so she's up the third rank of that round table. She's been at this game for a long time. Ah, oh, no, don't do anything stupid. Just hunt that person down. Theodosia has it ran away and stand before my clearly and unable to accept God's judgment. I will need to be the hammer just as it strike her down. Just like what my mother Talia did to this one 
other woman who was a heretic, but now she'll be shown no mercy. Ooh. I'm nervous, honestly. Because Kentina is a bold woman. Okay. Time to fight. Avoided attack and stroke back. Bruised my head. I don't like that, but... So now, again, we're evenly matched in the combat skill, but I think she will beat me because of her experience compared to me. Target the center. I hit her in the torso. Don't stun me. Struck me again. Lose my dominant hand and my torso. But again, she's physically strong. I'm not. Hit her in the center again. Bruised her head. A counter. Missed me. Got her in the center again. Pick a body part and work on it. Dodge. She missed me. Uh, swing my weapon. She avoided my attack and stroked back at me. Bruised my torso again. Counter. I've been hit and I'm wounded. Cracked my ribs. So now I'm much more vulnerable because of the lower combat skill. Hit the center. Bruce her legs. She ain't wounded yet. Go for the center. Hit the center. Pick a body part and work on it, much like she's doing on me. She's gonna... Oh, this may kill me. Stunned me, struck me back, bruised my non-dominant hand, bruised my head. This could end it. Oh, my foe is yielded and try to flavor her dear life like a coward she is. Her assets are confiscated and her reputation is left in disarray. She's unlikely to be able to work from the Shadow's Secret Society for, for a while. Yes, apparently she had second thoughts. She's no longer brave. So at that last moment, she surrendered, gained the Craven trait, but death to the wicked. So she dies anyway. In the next episode, we'll be coming into the front line wounded, as it will take a while to heal up from my uh, wounds. Some I will recover in a few months, while others may take slightly longer. But I'm well on my way to improve the combat skill much further. So in the next episode, let's go help the Ninette's people. The, the sons of the Chosen. Yeah. Or grandsons, so to speak. Uh, all that and more next episode of Assyria. Until then, so long for now.